What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video and in this one we have Indian radar satellites are frighteningly good. We're going to find out just how good. Before we do though, if you guys would like to support this channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is hit the join button down below. So easy. Uh, and by signing up as a member, you will receive exclusive benefits uh, that I think you guys will enjoy. But with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're focusing on India's radar enabled satellites. And they're not just for peaceful purposes. They play a crucial role in military applications. But before we dive into the details, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. India, one of the satellite powerhouses, has a whole bunch of these amazing machines up there. But it's not just any satellites, they come in all shapes and sizes, each designed for a unique job. And here's where it gets interesting, some of these satellites are like spies, pulling double duty for military and civilian tasks. One such satellite is Cardasat 3. It's got mm. some amazing features, such as super high resolution imaging, with a panchromatic resolution of 0.25 meters, it was one of the world's highest resolution imaging satellites when it was launched. Dang. But here's the thing, when it's cloudy or dark, regular satellites with optical cameras can't spot hidden stuff on the ground. That's huh. where radar-enabled satellites swoop in to save the day. Makes sense. India has four radar-enabled satellites in the RISAT series. The series began with the launch of RISAT-2 in 2009, which featured a 300 kilogram satellite equipped with an X-band synthetic dang. aperture radar sensor from Israel Aerospace Industries. In 2012, India launched RISAT-1, an indigenously developed radar imaging satellite. The launch sequence was adjusted, prioritizing RISAT-2 over RISAT-1 due to the unavailability of the indigenous C-band SAR intended for RISAT-1. Fast forward to 2019, India introduced RISAT-2B, an advanced synthetic aperture radar satellite weighing around 615 kg. It Jeez. can operate around the clock, in all weather conditions, and is oh. particularly useful for real-time monitoring of the border region, helping detect unauthorized movements or intrusions. That's legit so crazy. Just, I mean, the technology that humanity has come up with, just satellites in general, is absolutely insane to me. Uh, but then to make these amazing satellites that can operate in any weather that can detect uh, any particular movements at the border that can uh, and then if weather's bad I guess or fog or whatever these optic satellites can't see now you got these incredible radar satellites going to work around the clock it's truly truly something special to me. RISAT 2B is capable of operating in very high resolution radar imaging modes, including 0.5 meters by 0.3 meters resolution, and can operate in various polarization modes, including HH, HV, VV, and VH. HH polarization is employed to study vegetation and forests by focusing on volume scattering from trees and vegetation. What? HV polarization is useful for identifying differences in radar backscatter from various surfaces, including man-made structures and urban areas. The satellite's ability to capture time series SAR imagery is Dang. valuable for change detection. Military personnel can compare images taken at different times to identify changes in the landscape or infrastructure, such That's as the so construction dope. of new roads or structures that might indicate unauthorized That's activity. VV polarization is often used in urban area analysis, land cover classification, and monitoring changes in soil moisture. VH polarization enhances radar backscatter for detecting man-made objects, structures, and infrastructure, making it useful for detecting concealed or camouflaged objects. This capability is critical for identifying potential threats attempting to hide or evade detection. RISAT-2B, placed in low Earth orbit, offers relatively fast revisit times compared to satellites in higher orbits. This orbit ensures consistent lighting conditions in imagery and is suitable for Earth observation. While low Earth orbit satellites so awesome. provide fast revisit times, 
they have limitations, including limited coverage of the Earth's surface during each pass, and the need for a larger constellation of satellites to achieve more frequent revisits over a broader area. In the event of cross-border incidents or conflicts, RISAT-2B can help military authorities track the movements of enemy forces and assess the situation, providing an upper hand in terms of situational awareness. Yeah. To sum it up, India's radar-equipped satellites, like RISAT-2B, play a crucial role in real-time monitoring, significantly bolstering national security. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to hit that like button, share with your pals, and subscribe for all the latest updates. Until then, stay awesome. I think satellites themselves are literally just amazing inventions of human uh, mankind, like I said earlier. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know how satellites work. A lot of that video, I was kind of lost. And I was like, a lot of the explanations I just couldn't understand because I'm... When they said what they can do, get that, understand that 100%. Uh, when they said what kind of conditions they operate in and they started using some of these words pertaining to satellites, just it goes over my head. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, uh, check out the next video. I probably understood the, the next video a lot better. I'll see you guys next time.